Um, you know, this may not apply, but there's a quote that I heard that we are we're living in a dystopia with none of the aesthetic. And I guess part of me fears that, like the commercialization of space is headed towards the worst possible outcomes where we don't get this beauty of the technology. We just sort of get the logos mm. and the industrialization mm. of it all. I guess I'm just wanting to hear your thoughts. Appease me. Make me feel like it's if with you in charge, it's not going to happen. So I'm a big fan of sci-fi. And a lot of folks were really disappointed um, after with, with the outcomes of the Apollo era uh, because we thought that we were going to get flying cars and moon bases. And, Absolutely. You know, and instead we got like TikTok, yeah. you know, uh, and Bitcoin. Um, and one of the reasons that's where the world ended up is that we did amazing things in the Apollo era. Uh, today, we are in the second golden age of space. And it's not just underpinned by national pride, you know, wanting to occasionally carry out beating the Chinese. Um, but it's motivated by the recognition of the things that we can do in space that enrich all of our lives. All of us, every single moment in our life, space is space is helping us. You know, like the GPS constellation is not just the thing that helps Uber, like get you from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. It's also a universal clock that drives our entire banking system that makes sure the money leaves your bank account, gets to somebody else's bank account without it being having, having some terrible snafu. Mm -hmm. But it, so, so it's, so our, this second golden age of space is motivated not just by that national pride and by the, the, the innate desire that we have as humans to like explore the universe and, and understand where we came from and how things work, but also by, the rec by this recognition that, that we, can, we can do really interesting things that enrich humans, that we can commercialize, that we can, and, and, and we can grow and we can expand, you know, our place in the universe. Um, and so, and that is going to, that makes it more enduring. Um, and so today where we are is... You know, we're just scratching the surface, figuring out that we can manufacture things in space, that we can make, we can, we can do drug discovery. We can make stronger metals. We can make more interesting optical fibers. And we're expanding our ability to communicate with one another using space. 